Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. Today I have a wheat beer for you and it is from Paulana in Munich. And it is a bottle of the Paulana Heffer Weiss beer or yeast wheat beer. And this one is coming in at 5.5% ABV. Um, wheat beers traditionally very smooth, kind of a thicker mouthfeel. You tend to get kind of banana, clovey kind of flavours, sometimes a bit of orange, depends how it's been brewed. Coriander, the same sort of thing. Um, I've got my wheat beer glass ready. I've just rinsed it. They do recommend in Germany when you're drinking a, a wheat beer that you freshly rinse the glass out, chuck the water out, chuck the beer in. Makes it easy to pour because there's extra CO2. The way this is brewed, there's more CO2 in the beer, so you get a big head. Um, so yeah, um, there is the bottle cap on this Paulana Munich underneath it. There, um, this is probably considered, I suppose, internationally the most sort of um, recognised wheat beer or vice beer. Yet, funnily enough, here in the UK, it's not always the easiest to get hold of. Um, I got this in Marks and Spencers, and um, as far as I'm aware, that's the only supermarket that always stock it. Um, but you can get Weihenstephan, you can get Erdinger, for example, and you can get them in all the supermarkets. But uh, Paulana is a little bit tricky to get hold of, but I think M&S is the only one that regularly stock it. Um, so enough waffling. Let's get this beer out of the bottle, get it into my nice big wheat beer glass and see what we're dealing with. I haven't had a wheat beer in ages and I think this is actually the first wheat beer review I've done, so this is a bit odd. So we'll pour it nice and gently. Like I say, freshly rinse the glass. They do recommend keeping it at a 45 degree angle when you're pouring, so it runs down the glass nice and smoothly. So far, so good with this one. You can see that head developing already. I'm only giving it a very gentle pour. Tilt the glass a little bit now. Leaving the bottom, you get all the yeast and sediment and things in the bottle of a wheat in a, a bottom of a bottle of a wheat beer. I'm going to give that a stir, and I want it in there because I want the full flavour. The yeast tastes good. And it's actually quite good for you as well. Now in it goes. Look at that. Very nice. Let's leave that there. So there is the Paulana Heifer Weiss beer. Lovely colour to it. Big orangey apricotty colour to the beer. Big fluffy white head to it. Decent enough levels of carbonation you can see on the side of the glass there. That is a picture of German beer. <laughs> That's lovely. Yeah, so let's get an aroma on this Heifer Weiss beer. And just as you'd expect, big cloves. Overripe banana aroma. We stiff it too hard. <coughs> there it is. When you get an overripe banana, it sometimes makes you cough a little bit. That's exactly what's happened there. Yeah, the yeast is all banana. Lots of cloves. Slight, almost a slight tropical aroma to it. But yeah, lots of wheat, lots of banana, lots of cloves. Smells really nice. Let's get stuck in. Cheers, guys. It's so smooth. Wheat beers are so smooth. They go down like silk. You're getting a big clove banana taste to it. Very wheaty, it has that kind of wheat taste, wheat kind of mouthfeel to it, but it's so smooth. It's a nice kind of carbonation that kind of runs all the way through it. You know, it's not, uh... yeah, it's a nice gentle carbonation to it with the cloves, with the banana, with that wheaty taste, that smooth, silky mouthfeel. And that kind of carbonation kind of runs like rows of bubbles almost. That's what it feels like. It's um, it's lovely. Very subtle hoppy finish to it as well. I 
Oh, that's beautiful. That's lovely. Really good quality to it. Slight uh, floral flavour to it as well. Let's like say lots of banana, lots of clove. Definitely getting that smooth, wheaty mouthfeel to it. Very smooth. And then there's a nice floral note. And you're left with a very subtle, hoppy finish to it. It's a beautifully rounded beer. Lovely mouthfeel, beautifully carbonated. Um, and I say this is a big 500ml bottle. Um, I do believe they do them in cans, but I've never actually seen them. Excuse me. But that's a lovely beer. Um, I drink this, funnily enough, I go to Madrid quite a lot. And most of the bars you go into in Madrid, um, you kind of have a choice. You either drink sort of Mahu, or Mau, which is the local beer, or Heineken is readily available over there. Or there's this stuff. They seem to, a lot of the bars have this, uh, Paulana. Um, obviously a lot more popular in, in some of the other European countries and here in England. But I love this stuff. I think it's fantastic. Oh, lovely, smooth, creamy mouthfeel. Lots of banana, lots of clove. Really nicely carbonated. Slight floral taste to it towards the end. Once that banana and clove kind of settles down, there's a floral flavour to it. And then there's a nice little bit of hoppiness at the back end. Beautifully rounded. It's a it's a drinking experience. If you've never had a wheat beer before, you've never had a vice beer before, I recommend it. You don't even have to necessarily go out and get a Paralana. You know, you say you can get a Vihan Stefan or um what else is there? Yeah, Erdinger, that's quite readily available, particularly here in the UK. Try them, see what you think. But this one is particularly good. It's a particularly good vice beer, this one. And like I say, it's different from the other beers. There's a lot of CO2 that goes into the brewing for these beers. So they do need to be poured slowly. Otherwise, you will end up with like half a glass of head. It'll take you about half an hour for it to settle down before you can get a proper mouthfeel of it. Um, but it's lovely. Lovely creamy taste. Lovely mouthfeel throughout. Beautifully carbonated. Nice aroma to it. It's a lovely beer. Lovely drinking experience. Um, yeah. Top stuff. Uh, it's, a, it's a bell to that one. Um, yeah, first wheat beer I've reviewed. Cannot believe it's taken me this long to uh, do one because I do like my wheat beers. Or vice beers. Um, I'm going to give this a good score. I'm going to give this a solid 9 out of 10. It's one of the better vice beers available. Um, so go out and grab one if you can. And um, yeah. Give it a bit of respect. It, it pours a lot differently from the other beers. You have to go easy with these ones. But uh, yeah, it's a beautiful beer. Really, really nice beer. So yeah, 9 out of 10 for Paulana's Heifer Weiss Beer or Yeast Wheat Beer. Um, give the video a thumbs up. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you're drinking. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one, guys. Take care.